Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I posted. I took a little break for mental health, school, life, whatever. We are back and I thought I'd make this video because it is Valentine's Day soon and I am gonna do a little get ready with me and I'm gonna explain how I met my boyfriend. So if anybody knows, my boyfriend is Swedish, I'm Canadian, so every time I talk to people and tell them like, oh, he's from Sweden, they're always like, how'd you meet him? So I have a cool little story if anybody wants to listen. I'm getting ready to go to a friend's birthday party and I'm just gonna do some with a little blow I'm not very good at it but I only have like four rollers so I have to keep like switching them so the year is 2019 and I just got out of a really toxic relationship and I'm not even kidding when I say toxic like it was so unhealthy on both parts my part his part it had to end so it ended I was single for about a week I was on some dating apps whatever talking to some people just you know this is my first time being really single in like three years so I'm just living my best life and I just turned 21 I think it was so yeah I was just trying to chill in my last year of uni chilling so me and my friend were like let's go get some wine and Nokia it sounds like a really good girls night sounds like fun so she comes over and we get ready we pre-drink we go to have some wine and Nokia at this like cute little restaurant in my university town we went to go get food but it was like 10 p.m. and the guy was like yeah we actually don't serve food anymore because it turns into like a bar at nighttime instead of just a restaurant so we're like okay whatever we'll stay we for some reason we get a booth um even though there was just the two of us so that was like kind of embarrassing like two girls in a booth whatever so i'm kind of like on the lookout for guys i'm newly single just kind of seeing like if there's any cute guys that come in all of a sudden these group of guys walk in and i was like oh look like a bunch of guys whatever and i see this guy he's wearing a white shirt and he has like a sleeve of tattoos and it's so funny because when i was with my ex i always used to tell him like you should get tattoos like i love tattoos on guys i love sleeves like it just they look so good like i love the look of them and like my ex like works in finance so he was i guess he was always like a little bit scared to get tattoos and he's like oh they're not gonna hire me if i have tattoos blah, blah, blah. anyway whatever so i see this guy walk in with a sleeve of tattoos and i was like that's exactly what i want right now yeah he comes in with a bunch of his friends and they go and have a booth they're like having a grand old time and me and my girlfriend are like in this booth just the two of us and we're just like oh shit like what do we do two of his friends come over and start talking to us and i was like oh shit like because two of his friends are kind of hitting on us he's not gonna want to like i guess like bro code or whatever but anyway they invite us over to the booth and i was like yeah sure like i'm down whatever and we start talking and then we realize that they are actually like a soccer team all of them and to be honest i don't know anything about soccer like i played hockey growing up but soccer was never kind of like my interest i didn't know anything about it and we're talking to everyone and he's like the only guy that's not trying to talk to me and i was like like the one guy that i'm interested in is like not trying to talk to me so i just remember like sort of like trying to move the conversation over to him like i remember there was like hummus at the bar there and like they had food and stuff so i remember he was like sitting in the corner and i was just trying to like make my way down to like kind of stumble into a conversation and i honestly don't even really know how it happened but we ended up talking and he told me that he is here from sweden just playing soccer and I told him about my school and I guess like I really impressed him with everything. Um, so we were just talking, he told me about, he has a dog, like a golden retriever. So I was like, oh my God, I love dogs and I love golden retrievers, like that's perfect. So we were talking, talking, talking and I was like, oh, I definitely like want to get to know this guy. And my friend who I went with was like, oh, I have to go to the washroom, can you come with me? And I was like, okay, so I went with her upstairs and this, my boyfriend, well my current boyfriend came with me and I remember him like holding my hand, like walking through the crowd and I was like, oh yes, like the guy that I'm interested in, like this is so great, whatever. My friend's in the washroom, she's also like super drunk and the security guard comes up to us and was like, your friend has to go, like she needs to go, she's way too drunk. So I was like, of course, I need this perfect guy. We're really hitting it off. Then he tells me that it's in November, so his soccer season is over and they won the championship that year. So his soccer season is over and he's like, yeah, I'm actually moving back to Sweden until the next season, which is in March. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, of course, I find this perfect guy. And he's literally, he's like, yeah, I'm like moving back in a week. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I guess I'll get to know you then. And maybe we can see each other again in the new year and in March, whatever. So we agreed on that. And because my friend had to go, we were leaving. And I said to him, I was like, do you want to come with us? Like back uh, to my place, like stay over. And he's like, yeah, sure. So he comes over, we like watch literally like two hours of like John Mayer like live <laughs> and he literally has a snap of it from 
that night and he's like I can't believe this girl's making me watch John Mayer anyway so he slept over and then the next morning I was actually going to a football game um because I was kind of like interested in this guy on the football team and I went to the football game this guy literally paid no attention to me at all like it was stupid anyway on the way to the football game I was like oh my god like what did I do last night I don't really like remember like what was his I want to see his Instagram I know he said he was a soccer player so I kind of want to search him up and like all I knew was his name was Alex so I searched like on Google Alex like Swedish soccer player Canada and I couldn't find anything so I texted him I was like hey like what's your Instagram so I followed him on Instagram and then I saw that he is a professional athlete like he's not a liar and he has this cute golden retriever named Ari so uh yeah so then we just started talking and he's like do you want to hang out again and that was like a night later so we hung out again so I think I actually remember him saying like when do you want to come see my dog because like I j had just lost my dog that year and um yeah told him about my dog and how I love dogs and I think I remember him saying like so when do you want to come see him so I was like oh okay let's hang out again so that was like a few nights after we initially met and I went to, over to his house and I met his dog who was literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life like he adorable I'm not just saying that because he's like our dog now but he is literally the best boy you could ever imagine like the best the absolute best honestly I have no method to doing this I'm not very good at makeup and it is what it is it always turns out okay so went to his house we went to like a wine bar and that was really nice we had like had some wine and hung out and he was kind of like getting ready to move back like back to Sweden for a few months so yeah we just chilled talked about maybe seeing each other again and mind you this whole time that I was hanging out with him I was on a dating app I think I was on hinge or bumble and I met this guy who literally on paper was like my perfect guy like everything that I thought that I wanted in a man was like this guy he good looking brown hair like green blue eyes he's like an ex hockey player he like lived in downtown Toronto he's now like a finance bro like he was literally like a kind of guy that I was like yeah this is the one on paper so we hung out a lot and like he was really cool he was super super nice like we had a good time we went on like maybe like two or three dates I think and yeah I was just living hanging out with him obviously I didn't tell him about this like Swedish guy that I just met because like why would I do that and then I hung out with my boyfriend Alex uh, a third time before he like the night before he was leaving and like we hung out everything was good whatever he left went back home the next day i said bye maybe i'll see you when you come back in the new year whatever 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 the following month like the month of november i guess in december i was like hanging out with this guy from hinge or bumble a lot things were like going pretty well like i guess i liked him i don't really remember to be honest i was still talking to alex he actually was traveling in southeast asia i remember and he was snapchatting me like the whole time and i just thought like wow this guy is so cool like he's traveling to like these cool like far places like he's so adventurous and we were like snapchatting non-stop over like the holidays because it's christmas by this point okay so it's christmas time and i get drunk at a christmas party and we were just snapchatting and i was like oh it'd be so funny like if i came to sweden like wouldn't that be funny like i don't know i was drunk whatever i've never actually been to europe before this either so like i feel like it just seems so far away and he said to me he's like well if you actually want to come and you're serious about it let me know in the morning when you're sober and i'll get you a ticket so the next morning i woke up and i was like honestly like why not he could be a serial killer i could go to my death in europe who knows but i'll never know if i don't try right so so i had to tell my parents and my mom that i was going to europe to meet this guy who i've literally hung out with three times and also I really need to get my hair done it's so grown out but life has just been way too busy for that lately so we're just gonna have to have super dark roots and that's gonna be how it is so I have to explain to my parents that I'm going to Europe to hang out with this guy who I don't really know that well but he has a golden retriever so he's probably not a serial killer that was my rationale for going I was like you know what he has a cute dog he's a good dog dad how can he also be a serial killer right okay so back to this toronto guy so yeah i'm going on dates with him oh shit see so i'm going on dates with him and things are going well i tell him like oh this friend i have who is from sweden just invited me to go see her like should i go i've never been to europe before i don't know if i should go and he was like so supportive he was like oh my god yeah like that's a great opportunity to go i think you should really go and like little does he know 
is actually to go see another guy so i feel kind of bad about that but whatever so i was like you know what you're right i'm gonna go so i text him and i was like yeah so i'll see you like when i get back maybe from sweden who knows i'm just taking it day by day at this point so back to my current boyfriend so he booked me a flight right on new year's day and i went out in toronto of course for new year's that day before so i was super hungover and i've never been to europe before so i get on this like eight hour flight to europe and this is literally so embarrassing but i literally got sweden and switzerland mixed up so many times before i went i had no clue on a map where i was going not a single clue not a clue at all and yeah that's a little embarrassing so i've literally hung out with this guy three whole times here i am jumping on a plane to go see him and maybe be killed who knows okay so i arrive in sweden and i remember i get to like the border agent and he's just like oh why are you here like where are you coming from what's your who are you visiting and i was like oh i'm visiting my friend he lives in and i remember i couldn't remember like the name of the town that he lived in that i was going to and it was so embarrassing. I'm like, they're gonna arrest me. They're gonna be like, you're here for not legal purposes. Like I was freaking out. Anyway, whatever, he was super cool. Let me through, no issues. Alex picks me up from the airport. I remember like walking towards him and I was just like exhausted. I'm like hungover from New Year's the night before. Yeah, picks me up, picks me up in his little like Audi sports car. I was like, damn, I'm literally in Europe with this man, with this like nice car. Picks me up, drives me to this Airbnb because the apartment that he owns, he rents out because he's not living there. So when he is home, he just uh, stays with his parents. We go to this like cute little Air Airbnb. We spend some time with his family. Uh, we went out for dinner with his parents the first time that I met them. And little did I know, I didn't know this at the time, but one of the people working at the restaurants was actually his ex and I had no idea. And they didn't want to tell me obviously, cause that's like really awkward for me, especially cause I didn't know anyone that well. Like it would just make me uncomfortable. So they didn't tell me till after and I was like, oh wow. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so I'm in Europe. We're living our best lives in Sweden and we visit Copenhagen, I think, Denmark. Um, and we just have like this really cute little holiday, like so nice. Go to a spa, like he plants everything. I feel like I've never been with a man that's just like, he plants everything, he thought of me, like I don't eat meat. So he picked restaurants that were like good for vegetarians. Like there was just so much thought put into things and like honestly like minute by minute I was just like falling in love with this guy like I was like he's like more perfect in any way that I could ever imagine I don't know if that makes any sense but like yeah it was just perfect perfect little trip and the thing about Sweden in the winter time is that it gets really dark like early and then the sun sets really quickly so we were like where can we go that's kind of like warmer but still kind of nice and there's like not a lot of places in Europe you can do that in the winter time but anyway we booked a trip to Rome and we're just like, yeah, we're just gonna go to Rome for the weekend. Like me being Canadian, how crazy is it that Europeans can just be like, mm, yeah, just gonna go to Rome for the weekend. Just gonna go to Paris for the weekend. Like for like a North American, that's like a whole long trip. You gotta make at least like a week because we had to fly like over the Atlantic. I think it's called the Atlantic. Anyway, so we book our trip to Rome like living our best lives in Rome, eating all the pizza, eating, drinking all the wine. Like I remember just waking up one of the days and I was like, this is actually surreal. Like if somebody would have told me even just a year ago or even like four months ago that I would literally be in Rome with this Swedish guy and everything's perfect. Like I would have been like, no way, no way in hell would that be me? Like I never planned on meeting a European guy. I know it may not seem like a big deal, but I was in a relationship and it just seemed like oh, it was just toxic and seemed so hopeless. And I just thought like being with him, even though it was bad, is still going to be better than being alone. Basically, that's what I, that's kind of like what I kept telling myself that if I'm alone, I'm going to be more unhappy than if I would be with him. And little did I know that in less than a year, I would literally be eating pizza in Rome with this Swedish guy. Yeah, so while we were in Rome, I just kept like thinking, is he going to ask me to be his girlfriend? Like we literally, I literally just traveled across the ocean and here we are in Rome. Like I feel like this would be such a perfect way to ask me to be his girlfriend. And we'd go to all these romantic places and watching sunsets and everything and he didn't. And I was like, what the heck? Did this guy literally just fly me here and then is going to fly me home and then never speak to me again? Like I was like, what is going on? So the last night in Rome, I was literally, I sent a snap to my friends and I was like just patiently waiting for this guy to ask me to be his girlfriend. Like maybe that was a little eager because we really only knew each other for like a month, barely. Um, and then we went to a pizza restaurant in Rome 
and I remember like sitting there thinking like looking like really serious I guess and he's just like what do you think about and I said oh I'm just trying to send you a telepathic message and <laughs> yeah so I, I guess he got my message because then he asked me to be his girlfriend and I said yes and the rest is history actually I'm just kidding the story doesn't end there <laughs> so uh now we're dating and then I flew back home told all my friends and family I now have this like Swedish boyfriend and this is in January I'm home having a semester of school oh I totally forgot to mention when I got back from Sweden that smells really good when I got back from Sweden, I obviously had to uh, message that guy that I was like sort of seeing before who encouraged me to go to Sweden. Um, I messaged him and I was like, hey, like, I don't know how to say this, but I actually was going to Sweden to meet with this person that I met and turns out we're dating now. <laughs> um, but like, thanks for everything, I guess. And like, good luck. I don't know. And honestly, he was really cool about it. I mean, what else are you gonna say? I kind of feel bad for lying because like I never really mentioned that it was a guy, but I think that I tried to make it come across that it was a girl all along, like when I was telling him about it before. And I think he just assumed it was a girl because why would it be a guy? But anyway, so message him, he was cool with it, whatever. I hope he's doing well, no idea what he's doing now. And COVID happens, everything's kind of like a mess. He ends up living with me because the season was so crazy and like him finding a new place, it was just like, it was just, it was just too much so he just stayed with me for a bit but then he ended up living with me so we lived together right away which is maybe not the best thing to do in a new relationship but honestly it kind of worked out for us because we're still together today and then the pandemic happened and like the lockdown happened in march and we literally spend like every second with each other and i feel like that really like makes or breaks a couple so we really put our relationship to the test right at the beginning and it worked out for the better we just spent a lot of time together we worked out together and we drank a lot of wine when the lockdown first happened so that was nice yeah so fast forward three and a half years we live in this cute little apartment downtown toronto which honestly growing up i've always wanted to move to toronto like i'm from a town an hour north of toronto so everyone always wanted to move to toronto and living here now living our best life i just graduated nursing school we have our cute little dog who is literally the most precious thing on the planet so yeah it's like a really healthy happy relationship and i'm super happy that i took a chance on this guy who honestly could have been a serial killer and wasn't thank god but yeah now i have this like swedish boyfriend he's also an athlete so yeah it's i've met a lot of cool people some girlfriends on the team as well who i hang out with now so like i feel like it's just it worked out so if you take anything away from this if you're in a really unhappy or toxic relationship Honestly, and if you think that like you're not gonna find anyone better or or that there's no good men out there, then honestly there is good men out there. You might have to look a little bit, just keep trying. And also just because someone is good on paper and like what you think you want on paper might not actually translate to real life that well. Cause like that guy that I was sort of seeing, like he was good on paper and like I thought I was happy, but then I met my current boyfriend and it's been like the best thing that ever happened to me. I feel like like he's made me grow a lot as a person. He's really like level-headed. He kind of tells it how it is and I need that sometimes. And he's just, he treats me amazingly. And yeah, I am really happy that I met him and I hopefully have a future with him. We'll see, you know, I'm still waiting for that ring, but hopefully we'll get that soon, who knows? But yeah, so that's my story of how I met my boyfriend who is from Sweden and I am Canadian.